Root canal is something no one looks forward to. However, a female tiger at Brookfield Zoo named Whirl needed the dental help. Yeah, WGN video journalist Patrick Parmenter got an up-close look at this rare surgery. We have already reviewed the CT images and the CT report, so we know what we are anticipating. Cats have 30 teeth, we have 30 opportunities to find something and we just don't want to miss anything. This allows us to take um, x-rays of the entire body. Brookfield Zoo is one of only a handful of zoos in the, in the world that have a CT scanner uh, on site. Today we have a 16 year old tiger that has um, one or two fractures of teeth. Two twelves is enough for we're gifted with a, a staff of um, trained veterinarians as well as a, a veterinary anesthesiologists that will bring us the patient um, sedated. They'll be intubated, monitored, um, and supported throughout the procedure. Our job is to focus just on the oral cavity, doing a complete dental oral exam. And we're going to evaluate those teeth to determine if they're in need of therapy. We perform root canal therapy in these teeth to remain or to retain the tooth for function um, and therefore clean the canal, eliminate the infection, seal the canal so they can continue to use the tooth. In the wild, conditions like this could could lead to infection or you know furthering disease, potentially pain while eating and potentially limit her ability to, to hunt and eat for herself. She had her routine health exam a few weeks ago and during that exam we noticed that she had a fractured canine tooth that required root canal therapy. So once we saw that we knew that we needed to call a de dental specialist. We were able to plan the, the entire procedure ahead of time before she's under anesthesia to help make this procedure very quick and efficient. All of our animals here have an incredibly close relationship with their animal care specialists. The animal care specialists work with them every day. They see their normal behavior, their activity, their personalities. And we, the veterinary team works really closely with the animal care team to make sure that we've, we've accounted for any potential risks, any potential complications, so we can make this as safe as possible. We maintain a level and a standard of care that is on par with any veterinary hospital and most many human hospitals.